Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Swimmers Strong Abs Box Deal. 20 minute session to get you strong here, here, and on your back. And we're going to be working on the back. You don't need any equipment, but I would like you to clasp your hands behind your back. We're just going to stretch out to the front of the chest to get going. Press away from the upper back. We're going to come up to center, take you over to the right. Take you up and over to the other side. Arms out, we're just going to rotate. So I'm taking you through all three planes of motion, front, back, side to side, and rotation. Get our head in the game. All right, let's get down to it, down on the mat. You've got three little groups of goodies. The first one is going to be a 60 second air curl. We're going to use our trusty pace clock because we are swimmers. Inhale in, exhale, lift. One minute, we are off. I'm going to coach you through as we're going here. You're going to have your finger pads very gently resting on the back of your head. I'm looking for a space between a, your chin and your chest. And I'd like you to drive this from your tummy. You are high pulling on your head. Exhale up, inhale down. We're really looking for a consistent speed on the way up and all the way down. Beautiful, we are at 35 seconds. Now, any time through our session, you start to feel gas from the abs, you can go back to this movement. We're gonna call it your home base. My goal for you is to keep moving for the whole 20 minutes. So if it feels too hard, go back to this. Five seconds, four, three, Two and one beautiful next move is the swimmer bag crunch. So we're going to pretend we are closing up our swimmer bag, we're going to pick up our feet, we're going to snap it shut, and then we're going to open it out, keep your tummy pulled in tight, rib cage down, and back up. We're off. One minute. Squeeze tight. Back up there. Already feeling that nice burn. Now the nice thing about nice strong abs is they help you hold a great body line in the water. So it can be like a straight arrow shooting through. If you have your eyes down and press your chest down and keep your abs engaged, you'll be able to lift those hips closer to the surface of the water. Meaning you are going to swim and slip through the water faster. Nearly there, keep moving for me. Squeeze and release. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Reach your head and neck down. Good. Going to give you a little breather here. We're going to leave on the top. That would be the 60. Not the pace block. Press. Tummy down and go. One minute. Squeeze and release. Slow burn up. Control it on the way back. So, rectus abdominis is shorting and shortening and contracting as you come up. And we're lengthening on the way back down, but we're still working that muscle group as it resists gravity. Gravity wants to drop your shoulders, but plonk on the mat, and you're going to keep those muscles engaged and have a nice, easy, controlled release down. Over halfway. Can you come up a little bit higher? See if you can get one more vertebrae up at the top. 10 second mark. Four, three, two, squeeze one and release. Okay, we are going back to our little swimmer bag crunch. So remember this one is an open and a squeeze. We're gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one, one minute. Really important that you bring your chest towards your thighs and your thighs towards your chest. It's not just one or the other, they're going to work together. So you can apply your lower and your upper abs. You can 
Feel that burn already, super effective. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. That pace clock does not fly. Just keeping us honest. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One more. Good, I'm going to give you a 15 second breather and we're going for one more round through these. So ab crunch comes up first. We're going to leave on the 30 on the bottom there. Ready, engage, get ready and go. Squeeze, release. Lift, come back down. Slow burn on the abs. See if you can get your elbows a little wider. Make sure you're not tugging on your head. You can imagine having a grapefruit or an orange under your chin. You feel your chin on your chest. It tells me you're pulling on your head and that your neck is not in alignment with your spine. Five seconds. In swimming, the head is like a steering wheel. If it's moving around, your body's probably going to wiggle too. So it's a good opportunity to practice long neck. Five seconds, three, two, one, beautiful, rest it down, we're going to give you 15 seconds, and then we're going to head off for our suitcase crunch, this is our final round of these, you're doing amazing, it's so good to see you working out today. Okay, it's time, here we go, tap the toes, elbows are on the floor, squeeze, release, go. Exhale it up, squeeze. Height at the top. Next up, we're going to be working on our trunk rotators, our obliques. Start now, one minute. Tap, center, 
Keep that chest lifted up. We're looking for a long spine here. If you want to increase the challenge, your eyes are going to track back. Just remember if you want it easier, you're going to sit up taller. Those heels press down. Cool spine on a grimace always helps. Best way to start the day. Right hand, left foot, three, two, one, hit it. Reach, release. Up, bring it down. Bring that elbow back down to the floor. Each time, so the full range of motion. Up, release. Exhale. Not want to be a banana. That is a slow swimming with the quiet mind. 
We're going to set our plank at the bottom and we're going to draw our lower abdominals in, lift our hips, and then we're going to set and hold. So this is not a swinging bridge deal. If that does not work for you today, you're going to be here. You've got one minute. See that pace clock going on the 60. Okay, pick your poison. Let's go and get stronger abs. Three, two, one, set the plank. Lift the plank, pause at the top, set, hold, pause at the top, really lifting those hips up and sucking that tummy in, and release. Set, lift, pause at the top, set, lift, pause at the top, set, lift, pause at the top, set, Lift, pause at the top. You feel those lower abdominals kicking in. They are called transverse abdominals. They lie deepest to your spine. When you've got strong transverse abdominals, much likely to have pain-free, stable spine. A long holding, a nice straight line in the water. Two. One and stretch it back. Beautiful. Take a little stretch there. Onto your tummy. So, super swimmer is either going to be opposite hand and foot or you're going to have two hands, two feet. Let's go. Lift, release. Slow and control. So, you know it, we're working on the back side of your body now. Working the front side, we need to balance it with back work as well. Prime movers, there's a wreck the spine, muscle group lies, runs down either side of your spine. Big strong muscle that's involved in back spinal or back extension. So we've got some stabilizers kicking in. Four. Three, two, one. Stretch back. One round down. Two to go. We're going to give you a 10 second stretch out. Start getting in position. That's part of your stretch out. In three, two, one. Hit it. Pike, set, pause. Pike, set, pause. I want you to really take a moment at the top. And at the bottom. Thirty seconds. Give me one more. Down, stretch your back. 
we're nearly there. We've got two minutes. 60 seconds of plank fight. So start coming into position. 60 seconds of super squats. We're gonna go in three, two, one, begin. Pull up, set, hold. Pull up, set, hold. Transition, lock, transition, lock. Up and release. Lift and release. Keep that breath moving. When you set your plank at the bottom, hold that line you want to see in the water. Remember, no bananas today. We've got 15 seconds. See if we can get all the time from these last couple. Lift it up, set, hold. Lift it up, set, hold. Lift it up, and down. Stretch back. A little stretch through the base of the back. Down on your tummy. Here comes your last minute. Three, two, one, start. Lift, release. Make this last 60 seconds your best. I want to congratulate you for tuning in and getting this work done today. Your body and mind, thank you for it. If it's your first time tuning in, welcome. If you're coming back, it's great to see you back. Halfway point, 30 seconds. We're doing it together. Exhale, release. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. You can definitely feel that work from the back side of the bottom. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How about that? You did it. Completion was so good. Pull it back, sink your buttocks over your heels. You're going to walk your hands over to the side, lower your chest towards your thighs, with a little trunk stretch, opening through the shoulders, center it up, other side. Good. Press into the hands, press into the feet, come into a standing position anywhere you're comfortable and roll on up. You did it. Nice job, one bit reached the top. Stretch it up. Thank you for tuning in. You did an amazing job. Well done.